Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about prone on the Cadillac with the sling and the springs. So again today, we're talking about how to balance the rib cage. And for a lot of us, especially women, we tend to collapse in our lumbar spine and splay the ribs. So not a lot of abdominal connection, and it's hard to get that abdominal connection until we put the bones in the right place and restore all our natural curves. So today, we're, we have the two long yellow springs at the top of the upright, and we have um, a sling by Balanced Body that was created by Marie Jose Bloom. And here we go. So we're gonna put the sling right onto the front of the pelvis, so right at the ASIS bones. Um, and you have a blanket here that I want you to put your pelvis on, but the crease of the front of the hip, I want it to be at the smooth edge of the blanket. And I want the feet to be hanging off the end of the Cadillac. And that's going to help a lot with um, opening the front of the hip into the blanket and also for knee comfort. So from here, you can fold your hands and rest the forehead onto the hands. Now, first, I want to cue the client just to stay in this prone position with the head down. Um, not lifting the legs, thinking about length through the front of the legs, but keeping the legs down. And then on every exhale, with the open front of the hips into the blanket, thinking about lifting all of the soft stuff. <laughs> so that would be the belly and the intestines up and off the mat, like there's lava on the mat. And keeping the bones heavy. So the bones stay heavy and all the soft stuff is lifting up and off the sling and you're getting this kind of tensegrity push-pull feeling from the springs. You're, get, you're getting some resistance to activate against, which is really nice. Um, and engaging this, trying to find the tissue lifting but the bones being heavy, and then trying to find a connection between, like there's a guy wire, a connection between the front of the ribs and the front of the hips without lifting the bones. And then from there, moving into some very, very small hip extension without losing that connection between the front ribs and the hips. So a lot of people, just like when we were talking about the arms, will move their arms over their head by collapsing into their spine. Well, a common strategy of going into hip extension is just collapsing in the lumbar spine. We don't want to see that happening. So I'd like to see the leg lift up and back without losing the pelvis, without losing that connection of the front ribs and hips, without losing this full lumbar spine. So just that Goldilocks right amount of lift, keeping everything full in the back body, and then keeping that, keeping that lift as you descend the leg down. So again, very simple application. Whoops, I lost my microphone. <laughs> simple application, but um, very powerful because you're using the machinery to really connect and shrink wrap your musculature around these neutral bones. And it's such a great place to start to pay attention to your body, right? So you. You know, if you're doing this alone, this could be your only teacher, which is very important. Or it can be a second teacher um, as you go through the exercise with your, your client. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.